what types of homes do you build and who would be your perfect client? Yeah, well, we build uh, a number of different styles of homes. We do the uh, sort of single story, we do up to three story. Um, we've been specialising in doing split levels and, uh, mm -hmm. and difficult sites for a number of years because that's how I um, really found a niche for the business yep. was uh, to do the sorts of sites that the production guys walk away from. They, they're too difficult. Right. Um, whereas I, I found that was quite challenging and enjoyed the challenge yep. of uh, working with those sorts of sites and with the customers, to, uh, the clients to sort of create something special. Yeah. Yeah. And um, probably our the types of clients we build for would be generally uh, second or third, maybe more um, time home builders. They've done it before. We usually find they've uh, they've known the mistakes they've made in the past. Yeah. They're probably a little more aware of what they would like to have, mm -hmm. what their perfect home is, and we set out yep. to sort of work through that with them and, and give them exactly what they would like. Right. Okay. So when you say um, so. You know, more of the challenging types of, of builds. Are you talking about sort of blocks and, and that sort of thing, different sorts of? Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, like uh, quite often very sloping sites. Um, uh, so they're, they're a little bit more difficult to build on than a flat, uh, you know, sort of like what we call billiard table. Yeah. But um, also sometimes odd in size and shape. Gotcha. Uh, narrow frontages or we might have um, easements down or, or quite often we find um, there'd be uh, significant trees on the site that we have to work around. Right. Things that people generally find difficult to work with, yeah. we'll, we'll actually sit down and work through with the client and create something. And generally, like I say, it can create something that's quite special because we have to work within very defined parameters yeah. and um, you come up with something quite different. 